the radio hut has like an actual radio i thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um uh, you know i mean it is still technically but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore yeah it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable cd player and everything and you know nowadays everything we need is on the phone but mr hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology um, technology it giveth and it taketh so is is that something like that you want to go into camp radio no like uh dj or music oh um yeah i mean i like music but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's That makes a lot of sense. Something back could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early.
All good? All good? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's, Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician? In a manner of speaking, sure. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Does magic. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. Alright, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the... Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know, hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck? How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck.
They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. What now? Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know... Do it. Okay. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um. Come on. It's almost. Hey, Dylan. Just. Take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's something missing. I... What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Now, go, quickly. Are you 
sure? Gas fucking do it! Fucking do it! Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, he blew the speaker. It did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell them what happened! Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I, I'm not, um, but it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh. Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Here we have the hermit. 
With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Two futures to see, but only one can be seen. Make your choice. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you? this. Well, that bodes ill. There's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Ah. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh 
What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place, so that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Hey! I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what? Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. 
Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Oh, watch out. I said get off. Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? I wonder where Caleb is. The place was so different like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. 
It isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. Nick. Please just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a oh, such a such what? That's such a cop out answer. Me? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Everything okay? Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Got a 
Get out of here. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it. Stop squirming. Give me the try. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby. Killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest.
get it. Nick was... That was not Nick. And where the hell are Jacob and Emma? Don't you think we should have run into them again by now? Well, they're probably just blanking their brains out in some cabin somewhere. I don't know, man. Something fucked up is going on. The hunters, Chris running off, Nick. Kaylee. Oh, God. Kaylee. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again, just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice, an eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Make your choice. go then top top one down remember it's not terribly exciting <laughs> so uh why didn't you come where have you been for the past two months we did come one night early that was our mistake. 